Hey guys, welcome back to Time Machine Scale Models. Well, here it is. The final reveal for the Psychedelic 60s group build hosted by Dan the Man over at 60s Rule Channel. And in the background, some of my daughter's phenomenal artwork. I told you guys she likes that psychedelic stuff. Take a look at those psychedelic mushrooms in the back. And those body paintings are pretty cool too. She's pretty talented for being uh, just under 16 years old, I might say. But anyway, let me rearrange some stuff here, and uh, we're going to take a closer look at this 62 Pontiac Catalina. Stay tuned. Alright guys, well here she is. I don't think it came out too bad. The build was a lot of fun. I want to thank Dan for hosting the Psychedelic 60s group build. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, yeah man, it wasn't... Uh, it, was about, it wasn't about perfection, it was about having fun, and, and I had a lot of fun. I mean, you know, this thing was, was totally fun. I just wanted to go kind of outlandish with it, and uh, it's definitely outlandish. So obviously you guys have seen the paint. You guys know that uh, all the decorations uh, were sprayed out in um, craft acrylics and um, were clear-coated with Pledge Re uh, Revive. We didn't go 2K. Um, I told you the reasons for that in the last video. So uh, I don't think it came out too bad. I, I kind of like it. I, I kind of like it. It's it's uh, one of a kind. It's definitely one of a kind. Anyway, let me spin it around for you, and you can see what she looks like. I'll actually back it up so you can see the grill and everything. I do have some stills at the end of this video. She didn't come out too bad. All right, slide this hood off here and we can take a look at the engine. Let's see if we can focus in a little bit. And like I said, I have some stills at the end of the video. So I don't think the engine came out too bad. I didn't uh, wire it up. I just left it box stock, but obviously I used all the parts out of the box. And uh, I detail painted it a little bit. If you look look close, you'll see that it's a little bit grubby. Use some panel liner and some uh, um, thin down testers rust to give it some depth. But yeah, she doesn't look too bad, I don't think. The interior obviously is the uh, the tie dye, but I went a little bit further with the interior. Can you see the stars in there? Yeah, we put put some stars in there. That interior totally looks so cool. It's just totally cool. And I never did get speaker grills for the back package shelf, so it's a little bit bare in there. But yeah, we used the box stock wheels. And they were the white walls with uh, just basically the chromed out steelies. Here's the bottom side, really no frills. I mean, a couple different colors, I chrome the tips. A couple different colors on the uh, the exhaust there, but and the rear shock's blue, center section is red. Yeah, so I don't think she looks too bad, guys. I think she came out pretty good. Let's get another look at that. Uh, engine compartment I guess so you guys tell me what you think and like I said there's some stills at the end of the video so guys um, I want to thank Dan again over at 60s rule channel for hosting this build it was a whole lot of fun and uh, I look forward to doing it next time too because this was this was pretty rad so Alright guys, that's all I got for this video. Stay tuned for the stills. Thanks for watching.